Hello, I'm Ellie Pony Lynn. I mean, okay, hi, this is kind of dumb, but you can't stop me. It's April Fools and I wanted to do something fun and I like My Little Pony a lot. It's a really good show, you should watch it. So, what if we combine it with Pokemon? So, I turned some Pokemon into ponies, because why not? If you wanted to see like Pony Dawes, uh, My Little Pony Pony, there it is in the background. But for the rest of the Pokemon, I used a randomizer, so not even I knew what was gonna end up on the list, because I like doing that, it's like a fun challenge for myself. So let's go! On my first roll, I got Dratini. Dratini is the smallest in its evolution line, so it had to be a tiny child pony, like the Cutie Mark Crusaders. And yeah, I know dragons are canon in My Little Pony, but this is a video turning Pokemon into ponies, so pony it is! Of course, I can't just do Dratini, I'm doing the whole evolution line. And the thing with ponies is that they don't really evolve, so we have to imagine them more like individuals of a family. Dratini and Dragonair are both unicorns, while Dragonite is an alicorn with both a magical horn and wings to fly with. And I want to stay roughly within the style of My Little Pony, and they tend to be just one solid color. But I've taken a little bit of liberty with markings because I think the end result is better this way. And their cutie marks, which is the mark on a pony's flank that appears when they found their true purpose in life. They are based on pearls for Dratini and Dragonite and a dragon for Dragonite. Cutie marks in general are pretty open to interpretation. I mean, I've seen Applejack, like her whole family has cutie marks based on apples, so it's not like super deep. Anyway, we have more Pokemon to turn into ponies. Random roll number two, Chincho or Chinchao, depending on how you pronounce it. I don't even know which one is correct, but I don't really care. I love its weird eyes, so I had to keep them, even though it's not very My Little Pony. But it's a unicorn that uses its magic horn to glow. And its cutie mark is a light bulb, as a little nod to the fact that it's an electric type with glowing anglers. And it turns out Chincho has an older family member, and it's Lantern. I mean, who else? I, literally everyone saw that coming. But yeah, here it is. Lantern looks similar, but is older and has some cute yellow freckles, and her cutie mark is a fish hook. Because that's the point of the angler, to catch fish, and she's probably a fisherman pony, a fisher pony. I mean, if you haven't seen the show, they're very humanoid, despite walking on all four legs and not having opposable thumbs and stuff. But it's a great show! And on to the next one, and it's Bruxish! Bruxish has so many bright colors, and like I said before, ponies tend to be one-toned. So I didn't venture too far, but I gave her brew, brew, I mean blue, freckles all over her body, and made her a fashionista pony with a very bold tasting clothes and colors. Her cutie mark is a pair of sunglasses, because it's her signature to always be wearing a pair. Yes, they also wear clothes, but only sometimes. Most of the time they just walk around naked, but they also have clothes, so I don't know, do they have a concept of being naked? I don't know, that world is a mess. But it's a really good show, trust me, you should watch it, it's fun. And for the next one, I got you. I know you. And I'm not pretty small, so I thought it should be a child pony, and I like the idea of Unknown being a pony that's just around and doesn't really speak, and no one knows where it came from or who its parents are, and it's just super weird. And at some point there would be like a big reveal that there's a bunch of them and they all have some weird magical powers. Plot points, yeah. Okay, next one. Makuhida. It's a bit chubbier than your average pony and sports some of those bandages that fighters do in anime. And its cutie mark is a little sumo wrestler, because this pony has a passion for the sport and it's kind of obviously also inspired by sumo in real life. Makuhira in real life, you know all those Makuhiras just walking around in real life? Yeah, those! Yeah, what do you know, there's also a Harujama. Harujama was really hard to make because when you look at it, there's no color that really dominates its body. It's like a pretty even mix. And also, it's like bald. And there's no bald ponies that I know of, but yeah, I just gave it like thick eyebrows instead of a mane, and an orange towel and a yellow cloth that hangs over its back covering its cutie mark, which is the same sumo wrestler as a Makita but in blue and yellow. 
and I actually got a starter this time, which is kind of exciting. And it's Fennekin and her older sisters. And I thought they should all have different base colors because it's more fun with some variety. And their cutie marks are all based on fire and sticks, so I imagine they probably like to go camping. And the next one is Shellos, the East Sea form. And its little backflap thingies look kinda like wings, so I made it a little Pegasus. Gastrodon doesn't really have those wing flaps, but since it has three eyes, I made a third eye a unicorn horn instead. And the cutie marks are based on compasses, pointing knees, because they're the East Sea version. Very creative of me, I know, I know, thank you. And we're actually at the last pony, it's pony number 15, and it's Miltank. It's got a unicorn horn, but it's smaller than the average horn, and its magic is pretty weak, because it's a normal type, and I thought it shouldn't really have magical powers, because it's mostly just a cow, but pony. A cow pony. I know cows are also canon in My Little Pony, but it's a pony now. Sorry, but yeah, she probably works on like a cow farm because her cutie mark is a bottle of Moo Moo milk, which is like the best Pokemon item, just so you all know. And if you want to make your own pony, I recommend this game, which I have linked in the description below. It's by General Zoe or Soy or something, I don't really know, on DeviantArt. And the game is really great. Uh, but yeah, I actually drew everything myself, but I relied on the game for references for poses for a lot of the Pokeponies, as well as poses from the actual cartoon, of course. So the game is super great, so you could make yourself as a pony, or you could make your favorite Pokemon as a pony. It's really fun. Thanks for watching, happy April Fools! And also my favorite of the main six is Rarity, because she's the creative one, and also she's like a drama queen, and that's really funny.